Hey Eric, yeah, we're looking at really summery weather. So if you have been kind of craving heat and humidity, I don't know who has. I know a couple of people who really like that kind of weather, but we do have it around for sure this week, and that really won't change most of this week. We continue with a somewhat sort of steady pattern in the next few days. It's 91. That's the average high for this point in the year. We've already touched it and we might go a degree or two above that this afternoon. Feels like 103. The dew point 76, 77 or so. I've been seeing it at yesterday and today, so the humidity way up there feeling very muggy and summer like temperatures north of the lake are in the upper 80s. We have low 90s on the south shore. Bell Chase, you're at 90 degrees and here are those feels like temperatures this week. Mostly we'll be looking for feels like temperatures kind of in this range near 100 or a little bit above 100 in spots. And I just wanted to point out when we get into those really hot, extremely oppressive stretches during the summer that prompt heat advisories or excessive heat warnings, that would mean the heat index reaches about 108 plus. That's when you really start to be in the range where it gets dangerous to be outdoors working and so forth because of heat related illness and an excessive heat warning would be a heat index of 113 plus. Last year I do remember a few afternoons where our heat index was 114, even touching 115 or so. So it does get that hot with the heat index. Of course, our air temperature at New Orleans really hardly ever reaches these um, low triple digits, although it has touched 100 and even 101 and 102. Our winds are coming in from the south. You may notice just a touch of a little breeze there, thanks to some high pressure out to the east and southeast. Here is our radar scene. A small thunderstorm is approaching Harrison County in Mississippi from the south. We're just now seeing a tiny shower over here to the southwest of the city, so we will expect maybe a few isolated showers or storms today, but with that high to the east of us, we're not going to look for a whole lot. We'll have some ridging in the upper levels too, high pressure in the upper levels that will keep our rain chances kind of slim the next few days. Highs today, maybe about 93, possibly 94, somewhere in there. Again, the heat index through this week will be about 95 to 105 or so in the afternoons and just a few isolated showers and storms. You may notice a return of some hazy conditions tomorrow through Thursday, and that's due to yet another kind of little wave of some Saharan dust, and it shouldn't make a really huge difference to our weather, but we will be tracking that um, and probably seeing those kind of hazy or sort of whitish uh, looking skies in the middle of the week, and then we have a higher rain chance Friday and the weekend. Here's our outlook today. Couple of isolated storms, as you can see. Here's the big high just kind of hovering over here in this part of the Gulf. Tomorrow afternoon, couple of isolated storms once again, and then Wednesday, same thing. So notice no day this week coming up in the next few days where there's a really high chance of rain. It will be isolated this week. We will have a higher chance Friday in the weekend, maybe a couple of inches by this weekend, potentially a bit more too. We'll see as we get a bit closer and a few strong storms may be possible too. In the tropics, there is hardly anything really happening. An area over here off the east coast has a low chance of development, but if it did form Warm, it would be moving out away from the U.S. East Coast, so we're not too concerned about the tropics at this point. We have made it, of course, through the D storm. The next name is Edward, so we'll watch out for Edward, but right now not really seeing any indications of that in the Atlantic Basin. Our seven day forecast shows the continuation of really what we're seeing right now the next few days, and then note the higher rain chance Friday and into the 4th of July weekend.